Welcome back to another episode of Deep South Cooking with Monty. And we're gonna be making another recipe. It's egg roll in a bowl. Let me show you the ingredients we're gonna be using today. We're gonna be using some Jimmy Dean's premium sausage, onion, uh, got different oils up here, sesame seed oil, some ground ginger, green onion, and uh, let's see, some turmeric, got a little bit of garlic, salt and pepper. We're gonna be using some chicken broth with it and some coleslaw. Only thing I gotta cut up right now is gonna be the onion. We'll, we'll do that and then I'll meet you outside. All right, everybody, we're outside again, ready to get everything going. Got the uh, pit hot. Check the temperature of it again. Looks like we're right at about 400 degrees to 425. Kind of variates a little bit between the four eyes. But first thing we're going to be cooking is the sausage. Pan in. I've got the onions and the green onions ready to go. And right now it looks like a lot of, a lot of meat we're going to throw on here. But we've actually got four bags of slaw. I got only two up here, but we're going to go get the other two in a few minutes. So let's get the meat going first. It ought to cook quick because that griddle is hot. Get lucky if you get lucky if you do this without getting it all over your hands. There we are. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a ground pork. We're frying it up just like hamburger meat. Let's let that side cook a little bit. Now, I'm gonna add the onions early. Right on top. I had already oil on the top, but we're gonna add a little bit more oil to it. There we go. Didn't want to put too much, because the meat itself is actually Gonna put out the grease. There we go. How's that looking? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're we'll gonna let that brown a little bit. So some of the next ingredients that we're gonna be using is minced garlic. Well, it's about a tablespoon is what I need. About a tablespoon and a half. And it's about how much I got left in this jar. So I'm just gonna take it all out. Tell you what, you'll go through this stuff pretty quick. Almost, almost a lot of, a lot of meals that I make I use that. So while that's still browning on the bottom, we're just gonna keep on adding the stuff that we're using. Sesame oil. I'm gonna add roughly about two tablespoons worth. But I'm actually doubling the meal, so I need to go with between three and four. There we go. Okay. Next ingredient, salt and pepper. And we're going to come back with a little soy sauce. There we are. The name of this stuff again is egg roll in a bowl. But I tell you what, I'm going to have to rename it to Heaven in a bowl. That was good. There we are. Let's spread it out a little bit more. Let it keep browning. Okay. We'll come back in just a couple minutes when it cooks down a little bit further. All right. I got it cooked a little bit down. I don't want my videos ended up being too long. Because, uh... No need to sit there and watch every minute of meat fry or vegetable fry. But I, I've got it down to a nice consistency now. 
I think everybody would be happy with that. Mm -hmm. So let's slide this over. Time to get the next ingredient on the griddle. She put a lot of stuff on here at one time, but some things you have to cook in order. So the next thing I'm putting on is some butter. And uh, hence the name, egg roll in a bowl. I needed some eggs. So we're gonna cook that down. There we go. Let that butter melt fast. There we go. Turn the heat up a little bit. I was cooking it at about 350 degrees, but I'm gonna raise the temp a little bit now. Okay, time to pour the eggs in. Now folks, this is a lot of eggs. So it's going to take up a lot of the griddle. But I'm going to cook them down just a little bit. Give it a little bit of consistency. And then we're going to mix it with the meat. I just don't want to mix it too early. There we go. Stuck to the griddle. There we go. I think we're at that point, folks. Time to mix it all together. Now you can spread it out a little bit and let, let the eggs cook. Now, when this is complete, we're going to pull these off. And the, the uh, coleslaw is what we're going to be cooking next. What you think about that so far, folks? All right. Well, I'm gonna pan out here. The next thing you'll see is me putting the coleslaw on. I'll be to take this up and put it in a bowl, but uh, we'll be back in just a moment. All right, got the grill cleaned off. Got the meat on the side. Now it's time to cook the uh, coleslaw down. Put a little bit of olive oil on the top. Now, again, I wanted to double the recipe because this one's gonna last a long time. I got a lot of people to see. So it may look like a big old mountain of coleslaw, but it's gonna cook down and turn into a thinner layer. That's a lot of food, bro. Okay. We're gonna add a little bit of green onion. I want this to cook into it. And I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. We're gonna add a few extra little layers of flavor. One of them is ground ginger. We don't want to do it too heavy, but we want to add a little flavor to it. There we go. Just a light dose. A little turmeric. And some sesame seeds. There we go. Now, oh wow, I can smell that flavoring. It doesn't take much, folks much at all. You can already see where this is starting to wilter down a little bit. Right now I'm just trying to get, make sure all the ingredients that I just put in are spread out evenly throughout the meal. And 
dig in on a lot of the meals that I cook. It's not the traditional way. I change things up to the way that my family and I like it. It's kind of up to the people watching. If there's a certain ingredient that you do not want to use, if there's a seasoning that you don't want to use, a flavor of some sort, that's really up to you if you want to drop out something. One thing that we like in our egg roll in a bowl is eggs. Now I know our egg roll doesn't have eggs in it, but that's the way we like to eat ours. So in case the viewers are wondering why I did that, it's because it's my preference. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the vegetables all in one spot. You can see where they start getting a little wilted look to them. That's exactly what we're wanting. Exactly what we wanted. So now, a little chicken broth. It adds flavor, it adds moisture. There we go. And my next two is my Blackstone cover. Now we're gonna let it steam here for a few minutes. So we'll be right back and uh, we'll see how it looks in a couple minutes from now. All right, we're back again. Woo, look at the steam come off of that. Actually, I've noticed, look at the color change. It went from being whitish green to a nice, beautiful yellow. Now, you're not wanting to toast it and fry it, so I am co cooking it on lower heat. Folks, I think that is just perfect right there. I let it steam for about, it was about between four and a half and five minutes. Now we're still not going to take it off because but we're going to take the cover off, we're done with it. Now we're going to add the protein back into it. There we go. All the juices. Now the fun starts putting it together. Now you folks get the idea of what this is supposed to look like. Look at that. This is uh, from what I've read, low carb, keto I guess, I don't know. Whatever, it's supposed to be healthy for you. And uh, you know, I try to cook a couple meals that are healthy because I don't do such a good job eating healthy all the time like I'm supposed to. I think we are done. I'll piece take the food off. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is a lot of food because it's going to go for quite a few meals for different people and some leftovers. There we go. And it is some kind of hot. No reason to have the griddle on no more. I think actually this would be my first meal I put together completely outside. <laughs> the rest of them I put together inside the house. All right, folks. Well, while I finish cleaning the grill. We're going to pan, and then we're going to take our food, go inside, and I'll close out this video when we go inside. Alright, we're back inside with the final product, and this is egg roll in a bowl. And, I'm going to give me a little bit of scoop of it. Oh man, that is pretty. That looks really, really good. Now, what we're going to do is just identify a couple different toppings. Now from Louisiana, this is one of our favorites, Louisiana hot sauce, if you can see real good. Sriracha, that's another one people use. 
One in my family likes duck sauce, and the other one likes the sweet and sour sauce. So those are your options. Now for me, I'm, I'm gonna taste this by itself first, and then I'll make a decision on one of those later. But let's get down to what it tastes like. Mm. It's very good. The flavoring of the sausage, the Owen sausage is really well. And everything is cooked down perfectly. I can taste the turmeric. Wow. Folks, you need to try this recipe out. It's really good. Again, this is Monty, uh, Deep South Cooking. And uh, actually what I'd like to ask this time, besides liking my page and subscribing to my page, uh, if you can give me some comments on some meals that y'all would like me to make, uh, some of them I may have already made and I'd like to show you how to do those or some new ones I'll learn how to do and post that. But that's the end of my page for today and thank you for uh, standing by with me. Thank you.